Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Hey girl, I bet you did not think this is what I was gonna do when I said I would teach you how to cook. You should have known better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give you a basic tour of the kitchen and the things that you will need to make very, very simple food and keep yourself alive without relying on Panera mac and cheese. It's expensive, it's delicious, and it's not actually that good for you. Besides, I'll take, teach you how to make your own mac and cheese. Okay, so first we have... Ta-da! Bowls. Those are bowls, right? Yes. And plates. And cups. And mugs. Now, of course, you're saying, well, no shit. Of course, I need all of those things. But most specifically, oops, what you need is mugs, because I'm going to teach you how to make some awesome things that you can only make with mugs, like mug cakes, which are delicious and super easy. Chocolate chip cookie in a mug. You, like, you scoop the ice cream on top of it while it's still hot. It's amazing. Okay. Do, 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 do. You are going to want an awesome trusty pair of, yeah, that's slam, kitchen scissors. You need a sturdy, sharp pair. I know this sounds weird, but you're gonna cut a lot of crap instead of cutting it with a knife. Trust me, it'll make sense. Okay, going this way. Isn't that a nice kitchen? I wish it was mine, it's my mom's. Okay. This. Oh. Yeah, there's a sign. Oh well. So this right here is... Anybody? Anybody? That's right! It's a blender! You need a blender! You can actually buy them for really cheap. Look on Craigslist. Mm, Craigslist is good for that. Um, this is a Vitamix, which is like a $500 blender. You do not need the heavy duty, no bullshit, down to business, blender 5000 megatron. No, not necessary, but get a blender, useful. On that note, well, sort of on that note, you need oh, a toaster, or possibly a toaster oven, yay. Um, it would be better if you could get a toaster oven, but they're not always easy to find or cheap. So get yourself a toaster. You can get them super duper cheap. Why? Because toast. And also at some point you may or may not be making breadcrumbs, which go on a lot of things. And it's useful if you have some old stale bread that you can toast. Because I don't know if you have like a super useful working oven. Okay. Microwave. You will actually use this like a lot. For cooking, for example, if you want to cook some raw vegetables and you don't actually have that much time, you can get them started cooking in the microwave because it doesn't chemically alter your food. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Gardner Hart, wherever you are, it doesn't chemically alter your food. Period. All it does is excite the water molecules and heat it up. Hooray! So you can use it to cook your raw vegetables ahead of time, and then you can saute them on da 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 the stove. Sorry about the dirty trays on the stove. My mom made meringues, and I will actually include how to make meringues at some point in the future. Oven, dish towel, sink. Okay, super important stuff. The light in here is really funky. You need. Cutting boards. My stepfather made these because he's magical, like a unicorn. Well, like an armored badass unicorn. But these are super duper nice. You will want at least one solid gigantic wooden cutting board. And, hang on. At least one plastic cutting board. It can be a piece of crap like this, just so long as you can cut on it. The reason for that is that if you drop the money on a cutting board, you don't want to use a wooden cutting board to cut meat. The juices will get in of the raw meat, 
the juices of the raw meat and raw fish will get in to the grooves that you cut on the cutting board and will like soak into the wood and that's nasty. Don't do it. Gross. Okay, knives. You are going to want one solid beveled chef's knife. Extremely useful. Get one. You will want one long solid serrated knife. We have a much longer one and a slightly shorter one. Uh, I like this one the best because you can cut bread with it because it's long enough and you can cut everything else with it. The serrated edge is really good for getting through tough skins like say bell peppers. You will want a paring knife. It's so cute. It's for getting the seeds out of things. Maybe like cutting bad spots out of apples, peeling things, stabbing inmates because it's really easy to hide like under your shirt. I'm not going to do that. Um, knife sharpener. Woo. You are going to want, where is it, where is it? Oh, I can't find it. If you can, get yourself a Santoku knife, which it's shaped kind of like this, but in reverse, where this would be the blade and this would be the top, okay? And then it has these little grooves along the sides. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, it's kind of an all-purpose knife. It does everything. The little dips help it to not stick when you're cutting things like meat. Super handy dandy. You may also want to get yourself an Asian cleaver, a Chinese cleaver, well, whatever. Um, they're cheap, they're easy to pick up, make sure they're not made of like nasty metals, uh, but they are cheap, you can find them just about anywhere, and they're good not only for chopping things, but for crushing things, like garlic. If you crush garlic right under it, you put it down, you smash your palm on the flat part, It'll take the, you know, the skin off the garlic. Super easy peeling. And you can never have too much garlic, period. Well, okay. You can have too much, but not really. Don't tell. Okay, do do do. Now I'm gonna go through the drawers and see what else you need. Obviously, you need knives and forks and spoons. Because you're in college, you probably need and or have one of these. Because college, yeah. Um. <laughs> rice cooker. Get yourself a rice cooker. You can make rice in a pot. Don't, here, here's our rice cooker. Oh, and look, it comes with its own cute little rice spoon. Ah, you're probably not gonna get one because ours was fancy. Okay. Oh, Tupperware! Get Tupperware! In abundance. Super handy dandy are these. This is the cover that they sell for you to put on your dog food or cat food. Use it on cans. This will save your cans. Super easy. Also, when you open cans, write the date that you opened them on the side of the can in a sharpie. That way you know when you opened it, so you can just kind of guess when it's bad. Also, if it smells nasty, that's another hint. Um, bag clips. Big clip. Little clip. Big clip. Little clip. Some mason jars all up in there. Let's be super hipster. Um, this is my tiger mug. Yes. Super classy. Want to impress all your college friends? Get yourself one of these. It's actually from Vegas, but I didn't buy it. Go figure. Um, okay. This is a Cuisinart. Actually, can you see that? That is a Cuisinart. It has a little rotating blade all up in there, and it chops like a mother. Um, but they're expensive and hard to find. But somehow I managed to find like a baby one that's like this big and super adorable at Goodwill for like two bucks. So scour Goodwill. They actually have really good stuff for your kitchen. Rice cooker, ours is red and flashy. The cops would definitely pull it over. 
Rice cooker, yay. Oh, standing up. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Here's one of those you want it, but you can't afford it. Stand mixer. The bowl's not there, but this is a KitchenAid. This is like a 1950s housewife style mixer. My mother loves this thing. It's super useful. You don't want to have to hand whisk and hand mix things for the rest of your life because it gets exhausting. Although you will have muscles, like you won't have some, you know, tickets to the gun show. I'm not even gonna flex, it's embarrassing. Tickets to the gun show. I know you're already ripped, but you could be more ripped. Okay, well, oh yeah, okay, go back to the drawers. You are going to want aluminum foil and this crap, plastic wrap, which is so annoying. I hate it. Dish towels, um, plastic baggies, wax paper, if you think you need it. Hey. Measuring cups. You can buy them for cheap like anywhere. Are you making a list? It's a long video. Can opener. Oh. Ours has this cute little, like, this magnet. So you stick the magnet to the top of the can and it pulls the top off and then you press this and it drops the top, which is useful because you can really cut yourself on those. I uh, don't actually know why we have this. This is a cheese cutter. Cutting cheese is a pain in the butt, even though I don't really eat cheese anymore, but I cook it for other people. Cheese cutter. Garlic mincer. See the little holes? Garlic comes out, looks all creepy like maggots, but it's like super small, easy to saute, which, by the way, saute in French means to jump, because I know you studied Spanish. Um, so that's actually what you want to do when you're sauteing something. If you have it at the right heat, then the little pieces that are in the pan are going to jump all over the place. That is to saute. Uh, you're going to want chopsticks just because you'll want chopsticks. I mean, why not? <laughs> Spatula. Whisk. We have like three sizes. This is the baby size. This is the bigger size. Um, you might as well have yourself a cheese grater. You don't have to have one with three settings, but you can. Mm, you don't need a baster. That is just so unnecessary at this point. Might as well get a soup ladle. Teach you how to make uh, zucchini soup. Super easy. Goes really well. You can like put it all hipster-like in a mason jar and bring yourself you know, half a loaf of sourdough bread, hollow the bread out, pour it in there. So good. Um, actually, it's my mom's recipe, so maybe I'll have her show it to you. Okay, that's just about everything in there. We are almost done. This, oh goodness, this is a sieve. Get yourself a sieve, which by the way, is different from, sieves are good in baking, but it's different from a strainer. Gonna wanna have a strainer too, because pasta. You're gonna wanna get yourself some plastic bowls, some metal bowls, and some Pyrex dishes, including Pyrex baking dishes, which I will show you in one second. Honestly, just like get yourself one big ass plastic bowl, that'll be plenty. Okay. This is a Pyrex baking dish. This one is what, nine by nine? Eight by eight by two. whoop de doo You roast veggies in this. You bake cakes in this. You, you know, kill your boyfriend's pets in this after he totally ruins your life. Not that he will. Hi, Brian. Love you, Brian. Saucepan, saucy. In French, the person who makes the sauces is the saucier. You could be the sauciest saucier. I'm already the sauciest saucier. You can be like the saucier saucier. Okay, 
It's small for sauces. It's bigger for pastas. There's also one that's like the size of my torso. If you're cooking for legions, get yourself one of those. Okay. Frying pan. Usually you should get it a little bigger than this. You can get it non-stick, but be very careful. Do not get Teflon. You never, ever use metal utensils in your non-stick pants. Period. They'll scrape the little coating off, make them totally useless, and also get whatever's that coating and whatever's under it onto all your other dishes or into your food. Yeah, especially when you like put it through the dishwasher, it's just bad. Uh, where is it? Okay, well, it looks like the cast iron frying pan is not, maybe, hang on. Nope, can't find it. Well, cast iron frying pan. I have my own, it's out in the garage. I will teach you how to season it, take care of it. It will give all of your food an amazing flavor. It gets hot and it stays hot. It's for cooking very specific things. This is a wok. I could make so many awful puns right now, but I'm not going to. The nice thing about a wok is that it concentrates the heat. That spot in the middle gets really hot, really hot. So the wok, you like to do some sauteing. You would have to mix things around in this really well or else the stuff that's in the middle there is going to get burned. This is the lid for the wok that my stepfather made out of an old crappy drum symbol because once again, he's magical. He's like Buddha, but he rides a motorcycle and makes furniture, so... Okay. Loaf pan! It's adorable. You make loaves of things in it. Um, get yourself a plain old baking sheet. And after that... My goodness! I think that might be everything coffee maker, French press. I forget, do you like coffee? I assume you do, college. Buying coffee every day is expensive. Just get yourself something simple and cheap. Stop buying lattes every day. Stop it. Stop. Mm. Oh, you're gonna want a little salt dish, a little pepper grinder, you know, just something cute. I will go through spices at another time. You can make anything taste good with good spices. Promise. Like seriously, knowing how to spice things is so worth it. Okay, that is everything. All right, mwah, mwah. Comment down in the comment section Tell me what you want to learn about first. I still have to teach you about spices and about, you know, how you use the different kinds of pans. I can do breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Three ingredients or less, five ingredients or less. Super fast and easy. Easy. They will all be well-balanced and healthy. That's not true. Most of them will be well-balanced and about half of them will be well-balanced and healthy. Tell me what you want. I love you. Mwah. I'll come visit you as soon as I can. Bye-bye.